My name is Adam Bentley, and I'm a filmmaker. I love the idea of the, uh, the unspoken, telling stories, not through words, but through images and through facial expressions, uh, reading the, the conflict and the plot, and also knowing that the film doesn't just take place on screen, but in the audience's minds. My long-term goal is just to you know, make the International Festival of Winter Cinema, the premier juried winter, all winter film festival in the world. Uh, maybe that's a bit arrogant to say, but it is a goal. My name is Adnan Alana and I'm a 3D plexiglass artist. I do a th layered plexiglass art. You know, the art will actually look different from a distance or closer up. Like, if you go right up to it, it doesn't look like anything really. As you further walk back, it actually the, the image kind of makes its way, you know. And I, you know, I am where I'm at right now, but I, I just feel like I always have to continue to improve and progress. And if I'm not doing that, I feel like I'm just going to be staying at that same level. And if you're not progressing, you're not moving forward, right? My name is Chris Chang and Phillips. I am a writer, illustrator. I'm working on a graphic novel. I love bringing people joy with pictures. There's something so different about drawing and photographing a lot of landscapes and trying to figure out how to show off those places with ink and with charcoal and with pencil that maybe a photograph couldn't capture. I want to write a story that talks about evolution in a way that brings people into a discussion of our place in nature, in the world, our place amongst each other, and um, talks about where we belong and where we fit in with each other. My name is Elsa Robinson and I'm a visual artist. As an artist, bringing that message of inspiration, bringing joy, bringing positive energy into community is, is my job. I want to continue to do my 2D work and also to continue to explore uh, installation, uh, multimedia. At the bottom of all of that is to push the values that I think really can help people to look at life differently and um, look at each other differently and create some real positive energy in, in community, wherever community is. I'm Heather Hatch and I'm a filmmaker. I'm a huge fan of mixed media, so in documentary I like to bring in animation and or artistic elements that maybe it's not just B-roll and docking heads. The films can vary, but it does seem like my focus is drawn to telling um, Indigenous female stories. Right now I'm working on a feature-length documentary focusing on two small First Nations in Northern British Columbia that are fighting against a big dam being put on the Peace River and just the impacts it has on our communities and you know, in a broader context, how it affects us as Canadians. So I'd love it to be successful, mostly so that more people know what's happening in Canada right now. My name is Yang Lim and I'm an independent curator based in Edmonton. So I'm currently working on an exhibit dealing with Asian identity in Canada. It's tackling the, uh, the big question is, what does it mean to be Asian in Canada? And includes artists from Vancouver, Edmonton, Calgary. For me, what would be more valuable is reaching that level where my name is recognized, I guess, as uh, someone who does, curates interesting exhibitions and, um, and get, you know, promotes uh, public dialogue. My name is Hunter Cardinal, and I am an actor and an indigenous myth architect. We were going on an adventure, a fishing trip, just us. One of the things that has been most inspiring for me is actually this teaching of Misawa. Misawa is a Cree concept of infinity, and it translates into all that is. And it's usually made in reference to all the stories that we know as Cree people that we've woven into the stars. And the spirits came down and stole his head and put a dog's head on him instead. And then, you know, I think we as indigenous people always want to preserve what we have. How do we use what we have, really apply it, and create something new for our time? So I really hope that people can have um, the stories that they need, but also a way of creating the stories that they need as well. My name is Ibrahim Sin. My name is Beth Wishart McKenzie. And I'm a filmmaker. And I'm a documentary filmmaker. But one, the woman walks slowly with hesitation. The final exam is a classroom drama that features a, a young woman who wears a hijab. And because of government regulation, she is unable to wear the hijab 
in a final exam, but a young male student comes to her aid. With these kind of projects, I am hoping to motivate people to leave their comfort zone and step forward to at least say hi to those that they have biases, prejudices about. So maybe it's only in their mind. My name is Caleb Belcourt. I play guitar, I mainly play jazz, and I've been working on a lot of electronic work as well. When I was in grade 10, I, I just started playing guitar and I was looking for a way to get better at it. And I knew that my school had a jazz band and they had an open guitar spot. So I talked to my teacher and I spent the next summer working on lots of jazz and things like that. The biggest dream would just be move to New York and be a working musician, be a studio musician in LA or you know, just be a great jazz musician and people want to hear my music. My name is Catherine Guanyin Lennon and I'm a poet. So here I am. I've crossed the world to sit with her, hoping that she'll speak to me, hoping that she'll teach me. For me, I grew up in a household with two cultures, and I grew up with um, my mother, whose mother tongue is Cantonese. Tell her why I'm here. Afraid to say, grandmother, I'm hungry. So I had different languages and cultures around me, and I want to be able to express that fullness of my identity. And who you are is not like black and white. Um, so in, in this work, I want to create different access points and not, none of them are the, the right one or the only one. And we eat. My name is Lana Whiskeyjack and I'm a visual artist. My mentor, Alex Janvier, would say, you know, if you want to paint something ugly, make it beautiful. And so that is the core of my work. I am trying to rebalance my body, mind, and spirit by painting away trauma, the issues that often suppress. I'd love to share stories to other cultures and communities across the world, around the world, <laughs> globally. <laughs> okay. Awesome. I'm Stella, and I'm a singer-songwriter. A lot of what I seem to be talking about now is very influenced by global warming and um, environmentalism. I have a song explicitly about abuse of power and abuse of fossil fuels. Big dreams um, would be to uh, open for garbage, definitely. Garbage, <laughs> pardon the pun, <laughs> but they're my favourite band from growing up, but they're called Garbage. <laughs> I am Mariam Zari. I am a theater director and also a filmmaker. Uh, as an Iranian artist who is living in Canada for years, I really like to bring cultural concepts into my work. I really like to make my short films, two, three, and then start working on longer films and yeah, showing that to many, many audiences from different parts of the world. My name is Mehdi Rezania and I'm a musician. My instrument, Santur, belongs to the family of Hammer Dulcimer. Both left and right hands have equal role in producing the sound. We live in a multicultural country Music is one element that brings us together, that shows us that there are actually less differences between us. The path that I'm going, I like to, to continue this path. When you look at a number of years that you have done something continuously, then it might become something big. I'm Murtaza Abedini Farid, and I'm a musician. I really like the soft sound of the sitar, but also the, the body, the shape of the sitar itself. The, the way I hold it, it's very intimate, and uh, I think it's a good instrument for playing music when you're alone and just you want to maybe speak to yourself or, or, or express yourself for yourself. I'd love to explore composing types of music that could be Persian at the same time but at the same time could speak to a wider scope of uh, audience.